What's going on everybody? Jeff back here with another Hefe Head beer review. As you can tell, my scenery's changed a little bit. Um, just came out into the kitchen. Um, we had a little bar, and uh, so I thought I'd come out here. It's fall break now, and uh, all my roommates are gone, and I figured it's a good time to come out here and have a beer. So I just got this beer in a trade. This is my first Three Floyds beer I've ever had, and I'm really excited about it. This is their Arctic Panzer Wolf, which as you can see, has one of the coolest labels on any beer anywhere. Um, it's a double IPA, nine and a half, nine. I think it varies from batch to batch, but it's a year-round beer. Um, it's got about 100 IBUs, and uh, in the description on the website says that with this one, they, they hop the hell out of it, and that they're going for a scorched earth policy. <laughs> so I'm expecting a pretty bold, uh, intense one. Um, but if you're looking for a cheap beer, this one's definitely not it, because the, one, the person I traded with told me this was $13 for a bottle of a double IPA, which is obnoxious, but I'll try anything once. Um, my wallet's upset, but hopefully my tongue will be happy. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Pretty cool bottle cap. Uh, it's got three hands holding three Fs, and on top it says uh, three Floyds. I was going to say I hope this one is fresh because they don't bottle date, but it, I can already smell it from here. Um, the bottle is super beat up, so that's why I was wondering if it was going to be old or not, but it smells super pungent. Um, it pours really ugly. Like, it looks, well, not ugly, but necessarily, but it looks like, I mean, obviously like an unfiltered beer, kind of like a, a little bit darker than like a Hefeweizen or a, a German wit beer, uh, uh, Belgian wit beer, but... Um, I can't see anything through this at all. It's got kind of like a an apricot, um, golden color. Really, this really, uh, really white um, head with some pretty fine bubbles. Um, got some decent alcohol legs. A little bit of lacing, but really fine, like kind of champagne bubbles towards the bottom, and then uh, it's kind of sticking around a little bit. About half the finger is staying there. Let's go ahead and give this one a smell. I like this one. I like the way this one smells a lot. Super fruity. Um, a lot of citric uh, qualities in this one. Fresh squeezed orange juice, kind of like a sugar soaked um, grapefruit. Definitely some getting some tropical fruits in there too. Great smelling, aggressive double IPA. All right, so let's taste the Three Floyds Arctic Panzer Wolf. Initially, that is it's crazy bitter. You get an intense bitterness right up front, um, but it's it's really sweet, and that kind of helps. Uh, kind of cut the bitterness. Um, you're, the sweetness that you're getting is almost all tropical fruits. Um, they do add dextrose sugar to this too, so I guess that's where the the kind of sugar-coated um, grapefruit is coming from. Uh, but it's an intensely sweet beer and I really enjoy that. It's got a slight lingering bitterness, but it's not really too bad. But this is definitely um, an intensely bitter beer. Super flavorful. Uh, again, those tropical fruits are definitely the highlight of this beer though. One of the most fruit forward flavored uh, double IPAs that I've had, and I, I'm really enjoying this one. This one's really good. Um, if it wasn't so bitter, um, I would say that this was an extremely drinkable beer, um, especially for 9.5%. But, um, all right, I'm going to sip on this one for a little bit longer, and then I'll give you guys my final verdict on the Arctic Panzer Wolf. All right, guys, I'm back with the Arctic Panzer Wolf from Three Floyds Brewing Company out of Munster, Indiana. Um, very limited distribution on this one. It is a year-round brew, but they only distribute to like the surround the states surrounding Indiana. They're not gonna, you're not going to get them in California. You're not going to get them in Florida. You can't get them in North Carolina. Um, I'm going to go with an A on this one. Um, I'm going to go with a 94. I think this is a great beer. Um, if you're looking for citrusy, in your face, bitter West Coast style um, IPAs, then this is this is definitely a beer for you. Um, Three Floyds gets a lot of hype all over the country, and I think that at least this beer, I haven't had any other ones, so I'm not going to speak to those ones yet, um, deserves that. This is a great beer. It's amazing citrusy, um, bitter, double IPA. Um, I think it's definitely worth trying at least once. Um, I think it's very hard to justify buying a beer like this um, for the price tag that they're asking, um, but I, I'm, a, I'm a ticker myself, and... Uh, it, this beer is definitely worth having once, at least once. It's it's a great beer, and it definitely deserves the hype. Um, amazing citrusy flavors in this one. Mask the alcohol so well. It is bitter, but it's not super annoying, and it's got enough uh, sweet 
tropical fruit flavor to uh, cut the bitterness, and it's just it's got a great mouthfeel, and it's really enjoyable. I, I'm gonna enjoy drinking the rest of this one. Um, that being said, it will destroy your palate. Um, so bitter, and I was planning on having some other beers tonight, but I guess we'll see how that goes because I probably won't be able to taste anything else. Um, so don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. I'm gonna bring you guys a couple more Three Floyd beers uh, that I got in a trade, and uh, I'll see you guys in another beer review. Cheers.